VWID. Concept will head a range of electric cars. Speaking to Auto Express at the CES show, VW told us the ID would be the first affordable EV to offer a choice of range and power. Volkswagen has spelled out its plans to develop an entire range of ID. Electric cars, similar to what it offers with the likes of the Golf and Passat. Talking to Auto Express at the 2017 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, Christian Senger, Vice President Product Line G4, E-Mobility, said this would give the production I.D an immediate advantage in the market. The affordable electric cars of today only have one range and one size of motor, he pointed out. But we are really successful in having a range of performance. Sanger cited the example of the original Golf in 1974, which was offered with power output stretching from 4.5 bhp to 1.10 bhp, as the blueprint to boost appeal. We need to recreate this with e-mobility, he continued. We can start with a rational approach, the car performing quite well every day. But then we can scale up more range, more acceleration, more charging points for the money and maybe also four-wheel drive. We will be starting with 400 kilometers, 248 miles, then 500 kilometers, 310 miles, the 600 kilometers, 373 miles, for all the MEB products. Around 400 kilometers will be the minimum. MEB is the name of the Volkswagen Group's newly developed platform for electric vehicles. Sanger reflected on the car's debut at the Paris Motor Show and said feedback had been 90% positive. He claimed the concept was 80% of the production car, but added that some negative feedback had ensured there would be tweaks to the cabin. He continued, there were questions about the interior, if it was not too spacious, not feeling covered too exposed. Maybe we have created too much roominess and have to bring the dashboard closer to the passengers. He also promised warmer materials in the production car. And he admitted that plans to dispense with a conventional instrument cluster and use only a head-up display have been ditched. All cars will have a middle console but a different one from now, so that there is something in the middle. Nothing in the middle doesn't work. The main discussions were about the materials not being warm enough. There was nothing about the body steel. Said Sanger, we thought about making the head up the only information source and not having a cluster in the ID. But this is too risky. People still want the cluster. And of course we have to make the entry version more affordable. But we will clarify this over time. The head up may be the only source in future. And he acknowledged the fact that this would hike costs up was a factor, too, but hinted this will change in future. In 2020, we couldn't achieve this an affordable price. But we are not far away. Maybe by 2025 there is a chance we'll be close. For sure the ID will have a cluster but it will be upgradable with head up. Sanger also confirmed that the ID will have some autonomous capabilities, but suggested that drivers will not have to specify them and a fully autonomous version was some way from coming to market. Because MEB will be a sensor and actuator platform, the semi-autonomous features will be built in as standard. But the massive cost of fully autonomous features around 6,000 euros, 5,156 pounds, to fit could lead to the relative cost of a Golf being added to the i.ds sticker price, which of course would be unworkable. The cost you need for the functions leads to a really huge price point, said Sanger. In order to make it profitable, you can say you need a price point something between 15,000, 12,891 pounds, and 20,000 euros, 17,189 pounds, on top dot and that, he said, was a route VW would not go down. However, the car is very much on track for its 2020 debut. VWID Concept debuts at Paris
This time last year, the motoring world was rocked by the Volkswagen diesel emissions scandal, or Dieselgate, and now, Volkswagen has set out its plan to make things right again. The ID concept is an all-electric car built on a brand new platform, and shows VW's vision of an alternatively fueled, autonomous future. The ID Previews a compact electric car that will be the first of a series of highly innovative EVs that will hit the road in 2020, and went on display at the 2016 Paris Motor Show. With a claimed range of between 249 to 373 miles, the Volkswagen ID can be recharged wirelessly to avoid the hassle of having to plug your EV in at night or at work. There's also the option to plug the ID into the mains as with current EVs, with the German brand claiming an 80 percenter recharge takes 30 minutes. It's also the first Volkswagen to be engineered for fully autonomous driving, which VW says will be available to customers from 2025, by which it hopes to be selling 1 million electric cars per year globally. Visually, the ID adopts a completely new design language that will be exclusive to VW's future range of EVs. The front end is completely blanked off as the 168 bhp electric motor that powers the car doesn't require the same cooling as a conventional combustion engine. New digital headlamps are wrapped in LED daytime running lights to give it a striking look, but it's unclear whether this detail will transfer over to the production model. However, a unique and distinct front end is certain. The two-tone body is another distinctive feature, while the windscreen stretches back to the rear of the car to give a full-length panoramic roof although it's not yet known if this will make it onto the eventual production version. There are also new ultra-slim taillights that extend onto the rear haunches. The concept is a four-seater, even though a production version is likely to have five seats. There's also a very minimalist dash and a multifunction steering wheel that retracts into the dash when the fully autonomous ID. Pilot mode is engaged. The production version of the ID. Will be sold in parallel with the VW Golf, meaning that the ID. Will share similar a similar footprint to the popular family hatchback. It's underpinned by a completely new MEB modular electric drive architecture, which has been exclusively developed for electric vehicles across the VW group. All vehicles based on the MEB platform will be powered by lithium-ion batteries, which for the first time will be sandwiched between the car's floor, meaning no sacrifice has to be made in terms of boot space to house the battery pack. This should also bring benefits in terms of handling, as it keeps the car's center of gravity low. This feature has also helped VW to completely reimagine the cabin and interior space. VW has previously said the platform creates an additional 240 mm of passenger space over an equivalent hatch with a conventional powertrain, with bosses claiming that while it's no larger than a Golf on the outside, the space freed up where the engine would usually be makes the interior as roomy as the firm's Passat saloon. Another all-new feature of the ID concept is its ability to take delivery of parcels or packages from an unspecified delivery service when the owner is not at home, while it'll also find an empty parking space in a multi-story car park all on its own. On the open road the ID will accelerate from 0 to 62 miles per hour in under 8 seconds, according to VW, while the top speed stands at a respectable 99 miles per hour although don't expect to reach the higher end of the claimed range if you use the performance.